Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, all glory be to God. We are together again. I pray that you all are doing well. And I know that it, as some might be having some trials, we all are. You're not alone. And don't, don't get stuck in the muck and the mire. Don't get stuck in your trials. Look up and seek God's face. Please, because that's where the, the devil wants you, especially in these days. He wants, he's desperate. Evil is desperate to grab anything and everything. It's like a drowning person, and I apologize because it's kind of a sad scenario. But they say be careful of the drowning people because they are just in survival mode, they're just clawing and grabbing. God love them and trying to save their own lives and they they say a drowning person can end up drowning it's uh, it's the person who's helping them so that's why they always throw out that lifesaver on a rope because then they can just attach themselves to the ring and be pulled in so that's what the devil is doing and I apologize like I said I apologize for the um, analogy um, but that's what the devil's doing. He's scratching and scraping and, and and at the bottom of his barrel of sad little tricks and illusions and bothering all of us. <laughs> so that's why I gave you a rainbow. We had some rain the other day. I believe it was like Thursday. And I just saw this gorgeous rainbow and we pulled over and I had to save it for you. So anyway. I have an amazing, um, it started off as what I thought a deja vu, and it developed into a vision. And I prayed, it was this, this morning, so May, I apologize, May 12, 2018, this morning, but I have a connection to Friday evening, last night, the 11th of May, and I'll get to that, that's part of the confirmation, I'll get to that in a sec. Um, but I prayed on this all day and I wanted to make sure this ex this was from the Lord. It was a gift. It was a gift. And he shows things through our own eyes. And I believe he showed this through my own eyes and my scenario so I could best explain it to you all. So I'm a part of the vision, but I don't necessarily believe it's just about me because that's well, selfish. But then also, I know these words are to share. And I know that this one was definitely a share, shared vision. Um, and also timely. God is right on time. I just said that to someone. Anyway, uh, so let me get to it. Let me get to it. Okay, uh, so this is actually true as to what happened. This morning, uh, Saturday morning, the 12th, I was standing in the kitchen. I was making my daughter her breakfast. And she came in and she was looking at what I was doing. I was, you know, getting everything almost done. So this is a scenario. The mother and the daughter in the kitchen. And I was like smiling at her and we were talking about the things we need to do today and all of a sudden I got this sensation and for a while now, a long while, let's say a decade, I get deja vus and I've been getting deja vus on my, most of my life uh, as far as I can remember back. But for the last decade or so I've been able to feel when they start and I can like consciously, I, okay, when people get a deja vu, you go through the deja vu and then you go, whoa, I think that was a deja vu. I used to get them like that. Now what I get is, I get the deja vu, but I feel like it's a deja vu while it's happening and I can observe it, not just part participate in it. Okay, I'm sorry. So that's what I, that's what I was getting. And I was like, wow, I had deja vu. And I had a deja vu yesterday afternoon on Friday, which I thought that was amazing. I had two deja vus two day in, days in a row. So I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. So I'm in the middle of this deja vu, seeing myself with my daughter in the same spot, wearing the same clothes, cooking. And then I believe it turned into the Lord showed me a vision because my daughter's standing there and she's wearing an, a bright white shirt 
with a picture of a butterfly just a it's just the outline is pink with polka dots on it and I'm wearing a uh, light gray robe our clothes started to glow now please forgive the religious um, implications but this uh, it was mother daughter so I thought that was kind of sweet but see how the the beams they have coming off of um, the characters in this scenario um, that's what I was seeing I was seeing light projecting off my daughter's shirt when I looked down at myself light was coming off of me and everything was getting white and also here see how there's sparkles I saw that too so on the clothes itself I saw sparkles and when I saw um, I believe this is Mary Magdalene I mean uh, excuse me not Mary Magdalene sorry Mother Mary and the Virgin Mary and baby Jesus I, I assume I, I guess so uh, but like I said it's not the actual characters I'm talking about it's how this artist portrayed them so the sparkles the sparkles and the the light beams other picture and that's what I saw and I got so excited because I knew it was like I was out because I was I'm observing so I'm kind of out of it I could feel tingles myself so see how it's kind of sparkly and glittery I could feel these tingles too so it was like I was participating in the vision even though I was observing it and I got excited I was like this feels like what the rapture might feel like I got so excited and then the vision stopped but I knew I was seeing what a, a scenario of what it might be like and I got excited because we just were glowing with this beautiful white light and light was coming off of us and we were glittering with light and I could feel tingles all through my body and it was amazing and I was just watching my daughter and I in the kitchen so I think it was kind of like in a twinkling of an eye it was in a moment in a regular day moment I was shown that we're going to go up and that's what it says in the Bible but I just thought this was so beautiful and so I stopped and I prayed and I said oh Lord please uh, I wanted it to continue to be quite honest but that was what he showed me I think that was his point it was just saying it's coming and it's going to be just a regular day where you're making breakfast for your daughter or whatever you're gonna be living your life and it's going to happen and it was just it was just so powerful I'm still excited I'm, I feel like I could cry okay so I asked for confirmation I said please Lord first I always do I said please Lord Confirm to me this is from you, God. Please, please confirm this to you. And also let me know if this is something you want me to share. Okay. Okay, so I came across this. Um, I, I was looking for, you know, um, my, those images. And I came across this image of the mother symbol on like, it looks like a charm bracelet. And the beautiful little message about mom, mother. And then this starfish and I stopped and I was like wow wait and these were like mixed up with all the other glittery pictures I was looking at and I was like oh the starfish now this takes me back to the night before Friday evening I was making my daughter's dinner and please forgive all the stories because <laughs> they do have meaning I I'm getting to it I'm getting to it I'm sorry I'm so excited ah! okay the starfish and see how it's kind of not perfect it looks like a star but it, you know it has the leg it's not perfectly shaped I was making my daughter's dinner and I was tired we went to all her classes and got home and it was late six o'clock or so and I had to make her something to eat so I grabbed a foam bowl and I put corn in it and put it in the microwave I should have put it in a microwave safe bowl I know I'm sorry I'm sorry but I was moving quickly and uh, I just want to warm it up and you know get it to her well the bowl melted I was so tired I didn't pay attention to the time I put it in and when I pulled it out it was this wonky weird shape it collapsed on itself with the edges uh, were squeezed out it looked squeezed and I'm looking at the bowl with a corn inside and it was this this shape the starfish and I said that looks like a star and I stopped and said no that looks like a starfish and I thought wow that's interesting 
So this, when I saw the starfish, it reminded me of the starfish from last night. And I said, oh, I wonder. That's interesting. Um, I wonder if there's any kind of scripture in the Bible about, because I'm, you know, I'm looking for biblical things. This is what my mindset was on today for the video. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's any scripture on starfish. So I just typed in to my browser, Bible space starfish. And I found it. It's a parable called the parable of the starfish. And it doesn't, it's not necessarily a biblical reference, but um, a Christian person wrote it and put it in their Christian um, newsletter that the Bible, I mean, their church um, website produced. So that was how, that was the connection on the internet. So not biblical, but there is a, there is a story and it's a really cute story. I'll read it to you. Okay. One sec. Okay. So this is the parable of the starfish. Perhaps you've heard of this story of, sorry, of the young girl walking along the shores, seashore, who noticed hundreds of starfish that had washed up along the beach with the incoming tide knowing they would soon dry out in the hot sun and die. She quickly started picking them up and throwing them back into the sea. One by one, the starfish were returned to, were returned to, safe, to safety. What are you doing? inquired a nearby fisherman. I'm s saving the starfish, the girl replied proudly. If they don't make it back into the water, they will die. The fisherman, shaking his head, looked at the girl and said, You can't possibly save all these starfish. There are so many, you can't even count them. And then he asked, what difference does it, or excuse me, what difference can you possibly make? The spunky girl, looking down at the sand, picked up another starfish and tossed it into the ocean. It made a difference to that one. And I thought this was beautiful. And it was a beautiful confirmation of what we all are doing. And this is why I knew the Lord wanted me to share this, um, this message with you. Uh, I apologize, I'm reading upside down, so my reading is a little botchy. Um, but yes, the little girl, the whole idea, the little girl is taking one by one these starfish and tossing them back in the ocean so they can survive. So what she's doing is she's showing them love and grace, what Christ would do. He And he did. One by one, he ministered to people, to different, um, to help save them. He ministered and he saved so many and threw them back in the ocean and you can imagine the mockers and scoffers were like why are you bothering what is this guy doing he's you know t taking on these this huge task one by one uh trying to save people you can and i'm just paraphrasing because you know I'm not 2,000 years old <laughs> some days i feel like it but anyway i'm sorry um but yeah you can imagine the, the jesus had to had been looked at like the little girl was looked at by the fisherman and that's why I knew this was my confirmation to share this with you so getting back to the original deja vu slash vision I believe I was shown that the time is growing near for our return to our heavenly home and what this is it's it's a jubilee we're excited this is a this is a celebration um the victory is ours but this is also hmm, i warning 
it's now getting so diluted. This is a an awareness that a light that needs to be shined on the ones who haven't made that choice, the ones that's sitting on the fence, the ones who mock and scoff, the fishermen's out there. You know who you are. The fishermen's who say, "What's the use? Why bother?" Why? Why try? What does it matter? What difference does it make? One starfish makes a difference. All the starfish make a difference. One soul makes a difference. All souls make a difference. Uh, I didn't intend to make a video this weekend because it felt like a family weekend and to be honest it wasn't it didn't feel like the Lord wanted me to do a Mother's Day message and that's exactly what this kind of <laughs> there's a lot of moms in there um, sorry dads but um you know we love you too all the dads and granddads and uncles uh, all you all that are um, caring for anyone children, your parents, um, in the health industry, whatever it may be. Um, but I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, ah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, sorry, my dryer just buzzed. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all of you. I love you and God loves you more. And he's going to have his son bring us home very soon. Please take care and may God bless you all and keep you all. Amen. Bye for now.